Welcome back everyone to episode 2 of us playing in Vanilla Hoy 4. Arms Against Tyranny playing as everyone's favorite Denmark, Danavad. But with the end of the year's crisis, at long last after years of economic hardship, the suffering of the Great Depression brought forth is finally behind us. Through the crisis years, we worked hard to stabilize the Danish economy and offset the damage of the crash brought to our country. We're heading in the right direction. We get more stability and better consumer goods factors. So, and this is Danish industrial uh, capabilities. Oh, yeah, that's A little better. But we did a couple focuses off screen while we were waiting. Um, we did we were able to annex Iceland, so we developed the island. Iceland's position in the North Atlantic makes it a prime candidate to launch naval expeditions from in order to control the high seas. Oh, okay, you Iraq. By funneling resources and money to the region, we can more closely integrate it into the wider realm and make, be, better make use of its strategic position. We also did Storm Alfding, Alfdeling. While the army can hold the line and push our forces or our foes back little by little. It's the power of early troops in which we find the power needed to destroy the, any threat we face. We should prioritize our training and ensure that we have obedient to spend special forces waiting in uh, reserve. And then we're going to prioritize Heron because I want more attack and more organization. The backbone of any military is that of the army. If we funnel our resources into the training of soldiers and production of war machines and equipment, then we will be more than ready to face down against anyone who dares to threaten Danavald. I'm uh, liking that the UK is going to war already, but that, hmm, it's kind of making a bit okay. What are, you, what are you doing? Like, what, 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 what is the point of all this? Germany is probably getting ready to go launch an invasion of Poland. It could be early, it could be late. We still have quite a bit of time before we have to go to war with uh, the Swedes. And we're trying to import more guns and whatnot, making sure we got everything ready to go before we actually have to, you know, go to war. Oh. Oh crap. That's not good. Um, in the meantime, Yellow River blown, that's fine. We just want to take these guys out. 15 days. They have a little bit of manpower. They have qu probably quite a few divisions, unfortunately, against us. Um, hopefully we can hold out and then push them back, but you never know. Because I do need an extra division up here, too. We can let them take everything up here. Because what really matters is we take out Stockholm and whatnot. Fetish Slovakia, Prioritize Herren. Um, sure, a resurgent military power because we want even more division attack. The might of the Dandevalden is growing stronger by the day, but there's always room for improvement. Let us fo focus our funding into the Herren and the Flyvevedne and to improve the training and efficiency in the field. I think that'd be great. Integrated. Yeah. Because we did go to extensive conscription, and I want to grab. Uh, not this guy. This guy. The armament proponent. You guys still holding out a little bit, but they're not doing great. Iran is holding out. Oh! Okay! Well then. Half Lannan, unaligned states, they're like, I don't care. The Midwest is like, whatever, minus Ohio. And the Confederacy is like, yeah. The South will rise again with the Midwest doing their own thing. And we're angered by Swedish posture, which is pretty normal for us. Let's go ahead and start saving up a little bit more uh, fuel, which we, looks like we are doing already, which is great. Um, I just hope we do okay. That's all I care about. I just want us to do well. Shang-Chi is gone. Average equipment 2 is good. 1939, more construction speed. Yes, please. Grab that. And what do we have here? Anti tank, heart attack, and piercing. South attack, uh, production gain. Yeah, I like this one. But let's see what we need this one too. And that's fine with us. Uh, we're still mobilizing more, which is great, but it's never enough. Hopefully, one division is enough to hold them off here. We have quite a few things here. I want to keep everyone together because I guess this is more power. Dutch Indies, well, that's not good. Oh, great, they're deliberating puppets. Lots of training. Uh, pan Scandinavianism. Scandinavian, to a lesser degree, the entire Nordic region has been closely intertwined for thousands of years with a long shared history. By using the already close ties between our people, we can take steps towards unification. Hopefully. Hey, we're pretty good on all equipment now. We're pretty decent. I want to get this one done first, and then we're going to put radar because that'll help us out with intelligence and whatnot. We could really use more cities. The Fall of Nanjing, that's fine. We got everything, all the equipment that we needed. 
We're looking pretty good. We need more planes, though. I don't think anyone's going to offer us planes to buy. Basic, basic heavy fighters, interwar, small airframes. Well, you know what? I guess I was wrong. Who needs what we have? Ooh. Mm, I want to see what this focus does first. So, you know what? Let's save first, because we do have a cup of tea here, too. And if things go poorly, which there's a good chance it will go poorly, I want to see what options we have to unify with the Swedes first. And in the meantime, we're going to grab this for even more population, or recruitable population factor. Recruitable population, more, it gives more war support, which is great. Description loss goes down, cost, which I probably should have taken this one first, but whatever. Hey, we're 75%, not bad. What's this one do? Mobilization speed hurts. Uh, yada, 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 yada. Maximum military spending? All we do is spend on the military, which is fine with us. Come down here, yep. Yes, please. And a couple days left. Get more political power. So what happens when we rally the people? Here that pursues them. So what options do we have here? Rally the Norwegians. Oh, well, look at that. That's interesting. Any core? We get to the spirit of pan Scandinavianism. More research efficiency gain, non core manpower, even though we have the core already on Iceland. Entrenchment speed, max entrenchment compliance, growth speed, that's good. Rally Norwegians, this would be actually good to take too. You get building slot and you get all this stuff too. That's actually worth doing. 30 days, I like that. I want to train Dominium Maris Bautici. Oh, we get a war goal against everybody. Well, I should have seen this one earlier. Technically, we can just manually just fight against them anyways. But do we need a free war goal against them? I mean, they're in our faction. I want to use them as best we can. I might do this one, but we can stay away from that for now. It's way public opinion, huh? Oh, we should have done this one. I could have offered protection. So we have the forces. But we're going to go over here because I've read this earlier. No, I lied. So what happens if we go to war with them now? Um, I would do, also want to do this too. Do they immediately start attacking us? Can we immediately start attacking them? So we can join the allies. That's not good. That's actually very, very bad for us. Oops, my bad. If I have to do some funky stuff to make sure that we don't completely get terrorized by the allies, because the Axis is going to come for us too soon anyways. I hate that people always join factions. Like, can we make them like not join factions? Molotov Ribbentrop Pact. Hello. Uh, Iraq. Uh, I mean, sure. Um, I'm not sure how much they can actually help out. But yes. Doing right is just paying against us, huh? I could sacrifice him. Alright, not bad. If I do some funky stuff off screen, then I so be it. I don't really care. I just want to make sure we can get what we honestly deserve. Wait, are they guaranteed by Lithuania too? Well, they're not in our faction, so I don't really care. Trying to as well. Uh, no, we're good. Hmm. I don't think a general attack. Oh, you know what? I spent all that time and we don't even have any battle plans. Now, once the Germans show up and they help us out, that really helps us out a lot. Can you actually win here and do well? You can go right there. The circle destroy, maybe? Yeah. 
up out immediately. There you go. That's what we like to see. Oh, they're actually just stacking over the river. Thanks, Italy! Or over the ocean, or whatever it is. Ooh, that's not good. Huh. <laughs> we drag him into the war, and then we let him get invaded. Fantastic. Oh, you won down here, too. Well, time to move out, then. Are they... Not a war yet. Okay. We're actually doing way better than I thought we would. No joke. Toad anti air, huh? Y'all were smart, you go right here first. But it's a yeah, I would expect. You know. Oh, we got cut off. We're gonna risk it. Because we can. Nice, very nice. Uh, more planes will actually be pretty decent too. Galva. Thing here, two expert. That's nice. There they go. I knew that would happen. That's why I kicked them out. Now we'll do this one next. Oh, we'll get developed Greenland, but. Yep. Ah, oh, crap, that's not good for us. Ugh. My god, how much more do we need from these guys? Got a couple British divisions in here too. Well, they did. Um, yeah, this whole British thing is gonna not work out so well for us. Yeah, that's not good. I'm gonna have to go back to the drawing board because honestly, I hate this. I hate, I hate that you can't at the very start like say, hey, no factions. That's just so unfair. There's nothing you can do, especially on a historical. So I'm um, guess next time we're gonna move faster, but um, it's just not fun. It really is just not fun at all. At this point, I, mm, I'd love that you can combine your faction. I would wish you could combine your faction with the Germans. That just makes so much more sense. So, but I'll see you after I've cleaned up a couple things. All right, everyone. So now we have a Scandinavian Empire. And I'm going to be honest. I did have to use Khan's command to get Sweden out of the Allies so we could annex them by ourselves so that we could form the Scandinavian Empire. We're doing all right. Um, we're expanding the Herren's Technische Corps right now. Germany wants to kill us, I think. Yeah, so we basically have to keep these guys here until Germany wants to completely destroy us, which kind of sucks. Um, but, at this point, we got a couple options. We could go down and try to proclaim Nordic unity. Might be possible. We could destroy the North Sea Empire, which would include England. And then there's uh, establish Dominium Maris Baltici. So we have already these guys pretty much literally all in our, um, within our alliance, which is cool. Um, but I don't think we'll be able to do that in... Annex, peacefully annex people. Oh, I'll go do that anyways. Because we do have sway public opinion from Lithuanians, Estonians, Latvians, and I took the decision to do this with the um, Finns, but they are not getting any more fascist. So I'm not sure why they're not getting any more popularity here at all, but it is what it is. So I'm thinking, we're doing all right. I want a big old sub fleet. I would like to navally invade the UK. I think taking them out would probably be for the best bet. We have a decent military right now. It's a great no. But we do have some sub holes, which I really don't like these sub hole twos. Second like Vienna Award. We got sub holes three. Hopefully Germany and the Soviet Union will kill each other off. So we can focus on the UK and take them out. But we gotta really focus on our naval stuff. Um I just have a giant navy, basically. A giant sub fleet. 
Landing craft would be good. Uh, making a decent amount of political power here. Not a great amount, but a decent amount. Uh, so Iran's doing okay. Italy's got to do okay as well. And we're going to expand to Obadzibatne. The best protection of a coastline in many islands is uh, the one the enemy cannot see. Having a large submarine fleet will also strike without being noticed and withdraw ports while taking losses. Well, I like big guns. Ooh, that's not good. Not ideal. So we also got expanded Air Force too as we're doing this as well. So we're going to try to make a big old sub fleet. But 936 holes are just not good enough in my opinion. That's why we want these ones. Oh boy. Uh, see, look at me cares ago. And we got to get more planes. So. Oof. Oh, do we actually lose stuff here? Some convoys and some German ships too. Which really sucks. Uh, retrofit those ships we could, but we get two dockyards there as well. we'll probably modernize the navy. If we want to go to toe to toe with the best navies today. We must aim for quality over quantity. Well, numbers don't only help us. We're all gunned, not maneuvered by more modern ships. Yeah. Common states of American demands transfer from American holdings. Uh, tell the president to mind his own business. Yeah. The instruction is sovereign. We're doing that one, which is good. We definitely need these, though. Capital ships. Um. We'll break through. Sure, why not? Oh, hello. When did you land here? Italy sends military support. The towns want to support our, us in a war effort. And I have sent some equipment. This is a rather small shipment, but any help is accepted. Hmm. Fleet coordination. Chance to score a critical hit. Appropriate these guys. Yeah. All this stuff is very good. It's Baltic Sea domination. Baltic Sea. North Sea Ambitions. Deck Conversions. Uh, 1936 Carrier Hull. Oh, see, this one seems a little better. But I'll probably go with North Sea Ambitions anyways. Foreign Designs. Domestic Designs. We'll definitely have to go Domestic Designs. Our Air Forces are severely lacking capability. This mostly stems from the fact that we don't really produce our own aircraft, and therefore don't have the numbers to put up a fight if the worst comes to worst. We need to establish a domestic production line for our very own airplanes. Absolutely. Torpedo launchers, heavy ship gun batteries. Go ahead and get that one already. It is 1940. Uh, research speed, sure, why not? Um, yeah. Is it even worth making those? Honestly, I don't think so. Plenty of planes, and we have none of that, so. That help out a little bit. Start preparing them all. There we go. Mm, Iran, Iraq, Estonia? What do they say? War propaganda is fine. War bonds. Well, we can use some war bonds, probably. But as modernized the Navy. Oh, they join us. Great. Appropriate the Odense Stahlskabewert. To truly expand the size of our Navy, we need additional production capabilities. Using AP Mola Maersk's shipyards in Odense would accelerate means of production significantly. So, it's operative commando. We need competent such command structures that can coordinate our navies efficiently. Only the best and brightest officers should be trusted with this duty. As much as I want to do this one. Well, North Sea ambitions. Ours is a wide-reaching nation, from the shores of Europe to the seas of the North Atlantic. To protect this vast realm and secure overseas territories, we must embark on a bold, ambitious plan. Construct a North Sea fleet that can test these waters with any power that opposes us must be our sole purpose. Seeker des politit. Establishing intelligence that serves to help us increase our vigilance while tensions in Europe increase and conflict threatens to erode our sovereignty. Unify Flevelde. 
As it stands right now, we have two different wholly separate air forces. The Army's Herons Flyvthropper and the Navy's Marinens Flyvvassen. Both branches are often at odds with each other, unifying them into one single air force unit will create a cohesive strategy and establish a new branch of the armed forces. Stockpile oil would be good too. We must be ready for the worst and start preparing for war, even if we never see combat or major conflict in every city will affect us. To minimize its impact, we need to amass large reserves of strategic resources. Naval power projection. Having a large and powerful navy, for not if we cannot project our will to every corner of the realm, connecting to our domain through a chain of naval bases will anchor dominance around the waters, or across the waters. Should be good. What does this one do? It's not bad. Um, hmm. New artillery tactics. Herons Technicus Corps produces guns and artillery and ammunition today, but by setting up an experimental division with Herons Technicia Technica Corps, we could perhaps design and produce our own artillery, something the army would benefit from gr gladly. Convert automobile production. Times come to order Danish automobile manufacturers to convert their civilian production lines to contribute to the war effort and support our defense capabilities. Securing our own production of trucks and mechanizing our army to a higher degree will make it more agile and flexible. Fly Veskolem. Having gathered all our collective Air Force skills and knowledge in a fly of a net, we should extend our experience or expertise to aspiring cadets by creating a joint training school. To tell our Um Honestly, Danalagim? Well, there's a time when our divinity stretched across the North Sea and the English obeyed our laws. The time has come again to rise again and secure the future of our people by securing the waves. We're ready to do a Danalagim and force all of the countries to heed us. Dominium Maras and Scandinavian Empire, Scandinavian Empire was once the most powerful nation around the Baltic Sea. We fought against the Balts, Poles, Russians, and above all the Swedes for dominance over the seas. Now San Marino wants to for all put the entire region under our control. And happy 1942, everybody. It is April 25th, and we've actually been doing actually very well. We just naval invaded the UK, which is going fantastic so far. We've lost 13,000. We've killed off about a third of a million of the English. Um, Free France is also a major power. Hopefully no one else becomes a major power. We're at 10%. What I really want are all English corps. In the end, now our navy has done actually surprisingly extremely well. Um, empowering the Sovernet has actually been a very good thing for us. Very, very good. Other than that, Aaron, not bad. Of course, I guess we do have a major attack and defense against countries. 20% more attack that really helps out. Danish industrial cap capacity capabilities. Better ship repair speed is pretty good too. Um, what else we got here? Oh, that's not bad. Lack of resources. Critical population factor. Political edicts. Yeah, 40% is. Pretty good. Got a couple of naval bombers. We've been doing really well though. Let's see. Ship wise. Come over here. Close out. Oh, my bad. Close out of this. Lost ship. We've lost 19. We sunk 1100. Most of convoys. But we've been doing exceedingly well. Ooh. Ooh. Hopefully we don't get. Ooh, we got found out. Ooh, please don't lose any more ships. I asked, please. We lost two. Probably lose three or four. But we're, we're here in the UK, so. We're doing really well. The Germans are just absolutely smashing the Soviet Union, which is also fighting Japan, so they're not doing so well. I guess I am. We're just spreading out as best we can. We are forcing attack because I wanted to just be able to attack these guys as fast as possible. Now with the UK here, they are they, we have been able to sink all the convoys. You know, at least the ones that are carrying fuel. So they have no fuel. They got a decent amount of manpower. A couple convoys left. Uh, Naval wise, they got 203 ships. But it could be better. It could be worse. Of course. But still. Um, very, very good. As long as we keep our momentum up, that's all that matters. Get rid of their radar stations. They can't do nearly as much. Why don't you go right there? Help go around because now these guys are cut off and they have to do that. The Thorvald Stowning died. So look at that. Prominent politician Thorvald Stowning has passed away. He served as Prime Minister of Denmark for several terms of office and was admired by many. Towards the end of his life, he became increasingly worried about the future of social democracy in Europe. But uh, lay him to rest. Not our problem. But we do have a white monster here. Energy drink to keep us nice and caffeinated and make sure that we can't sleep at night. So pretty normal. Oh, it looks like we we're about to get London. That would be fan dabby dozy. Ah, oh, we have London. And we have the radar station down there, which is fantastic as well. Let's get to Toto. Oh, they're actually trying to naval invade us. Ooh. Oh, we do have our fleet here too to help us out. We actually took a battleship. Oh. Oh, we're actually... Oh my god! We just sunk a cap... Uh, uh, three capital ships. 
Carrier, heavy cruiser, battleship. Wow. Go us. Uh, go repair. Just in case. Yeah, this navy is actually pretty decent. There are quite a few divisions here and there, so we guess we'll be smart and, and move around them. Crypto sack or so. Not ideal, but it is what it is. Looking at there, I, they're hurt, actually hurting quite a bit. Which is fantastic. Alright, so I guess we don't have any cast either. Either? Either. What is this? Die breaks. Oh, that's a little different than normal. Yeah, cast weapons, bomb. Small. Interesting. This turned out to be a lot more fun than I thought it would be, this campaign. Ooh, do we have rubber, aluminum? No. It's time to get rid of export focus. Ooh. Other allies up out there too, why not? Get a hole, perhaps. Oil processing is good. Keep working on it. Two subs are gone, good. These guys are in circle, which is fantastic. And they are starting for supplies, which is good. Philippines are gone. Homing torpedoes are also very good. We don't need that one. Uh, I'll go with that. Yes, please. I think once we get Liverpool, that'll be it. Oh, they actually arranged to put us Well, then we'll just do this then. Let's go Liverpool. Nice. Pretty good. And. Sure, why not? Just keep thinking everything they got. Is level 5 soon to not be level 6? <laughs> I'm out here. There's quite a few divisions here. There is 7, 8, 12 divisions here. Good. Against Fourth International, which I think the. I guess we're here. Amer North Americans did as well. Carrier stuff. Carrier stuff. It's all carrier stuff. I gotta wait for that. Naval bombers, carry naval bombers. Well, speed, range. I want more range. Because we are using naval bombers. Hey, look at that. And a circlement. God, we're doing so well. So we've got 24%. Keep pushing on through. Artillery specialist. We already have that. We'll get him, even though we don't really need him. What else we got here? Smoke and fire, uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. aggressive reconnaissance, uh, get some more breakthrough, why not? You know, get some more initiative, that helps us out anyways. Nice. Ah. Captured, not ideal, but that's all right. I don't think this war is going to last for too much longer. 29% is pretty good. They're about to capitulate. 90% of the way there. Carlisle and Newcastle, that'll, that'll tip us. Where we need it to be. Beautiful. We did it. Fantastic. I just want all the UK. I will literally want all the English states. And maybe Scottish states too. Oh, come on. Cyprus, that's not English. A lot of these other places are just not English, so I don't really care as much. Now there's a problem, obviously I'm going to go back and make sure that we can get everything we need, but we'll see. Netherlands, Denmark, Canadian Confederation. 
Ethiopia, the Raj, ooh, East Indies. Kalimantan. I want those and Contested demand, huh? That I can't suck off. Maybe we can just take everything we can here. I was gonna be so ugly. Oh my god. Darn it. Let's see if that's enough. Hey, we saw the really North Sea Empire. That's what I really wanted. Oh, that's a nice black color. Ooh, that's fantastic. I love it. And we went back to our more Danish flag. Restoration of the North Sea Empire. Having taken all the lands was ruled by Newt the Great, the Danish government has now begun increasingly moves towards integration of the newly conquered territories. As a result, an attempt to rally the people behind the state, there has been increasing pan nationalist propaganda with clear support from the government. Danish leader Kay Lembeck has declared that the United Realms of the Scandinavian Empire, Norway, and England will now on be known as the North Sea Imperium. It appears the Vikings have returned. Oh, that is fantastic. I'm actually glad we got that. I'm not from this nation yet at the time of this recording, so. Oh, that's actually really cool. Oh, what is this? Reestablish a landstorm? More sport manpower? Oh, modify hand by more defense on core territory. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, we could keep going on, but uh, proclaim Nordic unity? We need all Finnish states. Could have done the Nordic Empire, but that's all right. And another campaign, I'm sure we will. But I think I'll end it there. I really enjoyed it. Ah, it gives us plenty of manpower, though. But hey, if you enjoyed the campaign, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. We got all, almost all of Egypt. Uh, and I hope to see you all in another campaign. Thanks for watching. Have a great, great, great rest of your day.